naturally bright white teeth, here's exactly what you need. One, baking soda. I picked up a box for only a couple of dollars. This gives the paste a soft, gritty texture that gently scrubs stains and helps lift plaque. It's mild and doesn't scratch your enamel. Two, hydrogen peroxide, 3% or less. This is crucial. Make sure you get the regular 3% hydrogen peroxide, not the strong versions like 15% or 40%. Those are way too harsh. Fun fact, those whitening strips people buy online use hydrogen peroxide too. Same ingredient, but they charge $20 $30, even $40 for tiny pieces of plastic. We're going to do this the safe, gentle version. How to make the whitening mixture. Grab a small bowl or container. Add one teaspoon of baking soda. Add three drops of 3% hydrogen peroxide. Add eight drops of water. Mix it until it forms a smooth paste. Hydrogen peroxide works because it releases oxygen, which breaks apart the pigment chains that cause staining. This is why it's so effective at whitening. Now take your toothbrush and gently polish your teeth, front, back, and chewing surfaces for about one to two minutes. After you're done, rinse your mouth thoroughly because this mixture is mild, unlike the super strong dentist version. You'll need to repeat it. I recommend doing it two to three times a week for a few weeks. You're going to notice a huge difference and when you do, come back and drop a comment. The key is slow and safe. No damage to gums, no enamel issues, just gradual whitening. Now let's talk about oil pulling. You've probably seen videos where people swish coconut oil in their mouth for a while. But what exactly does that do? Oil pulling is actually a very old practice. Traditionally, people used sesame oil, but coconut oil tastes better and works just as well. Coconut oil contains lauric acid, which is a natural antimicrobial. It helps fight bacteria, fungus, candida, and especially the microbes that cause bad breath. If you swish coconut oil in your mouth for 10 to 20 minutes, a few times a week, it can noticeably improve gum health. There's even research from the Indian Journal of Dental Research uh, showing it works as well as medicated mouthwash for reducing gingivitis. What's interesting is that oil pulling doesn't just affect bacteria. It also helps with the overall microbiome inside your mouth. Your mouth has its own ecosystem, just like your gut does. If that ecosystem becomes unbalanced, you can experience persistent bad breath, inflamed gums, faster plaque buildup, more cavities, and even tooth staining. Oil pulling helps restore that balance by reducing the harmful microbes without being too harsh like alcohol-based mouthwashes. The secret connection between sugar and vitamin C. Here's something most people don't know. Sugar and vitamin C look almost identical at the molecular level, and they compete with each other. When you eat a lot of sugar, it blocks vitamin C from entering your cells. Vitamin C is essential for collagen, which keeps your gums firm and tight. That's why people with severe vitamin C deficiency, like sailors who got scurvy, had bleeding gums. If you eat sugary foods or chew sweetened gum often, the vitamin C you consume gets pushed aside by glucose. The first sign is usually bleeding when brushing, bleeding when flossing, gums that feel loose or puffy. This creates tiny gaps in your gum line, almost like leaky gut, but in your mouth, allowing bacteria to enter your bloodstream. Scientists have even found oral bacteria inside artery plaque and in brain plaque in Alzheimer's patients. Your mouth is the gateway to your entire body, so protecting your gums is incredibly important. Let's go deeper into leaky gums. Almost nobody talks about this. Most people think gum issues start only from not brushing enough, but that's not true. Gum issues start much earlier at the microscopic level. Imagine the gums as a tight seal protecting your bloodstream. When sugar slows down vitamin C, the collagen weakens. Weak collagen equals weak gum wall. Once the gum barrier opens up even slightly, bacteria can slip through. These microbes travel with your bloodstream and can trigger inflammation in distant organs. This is why poor oral health is strongly linked with heart disease, chronic inflammation, dementia, autoimmune conditions, fatigue and brain fog. It all starts with gums that are too leaky. And here's another angle. 
Every time you swallow, you're moving millions of bacteria across your gums. If your gum wall is strong, you're fine. If it's weak, those microbes can pass directly through. So when you're whitening your teeth, also think about strengthening your gums. And the two best things you can do are reduce sugar intake, increase vitamin C from fruits or supplements. Bonus tip, clean your tongue. This is a small habit, but it makes a big difference. Most of the smell causing bacteria live on the back of your tongue. A tongue scraper removes food debris, sulfur producing bacteria, coating that causes bad breath. When you do tongue scraping along with the oil pulling and the whitening mixture, the results multiply dramatically. Another powerful add-on, brush with baking soda once a week. Not the whitening paste, just baking soda alone. Baking soda changes the pH of your mouth temporarily. A more alkaline mouth makes it harder for cavity-causing bacteria to survive. It also helps prevent plaque from forming so quickly. Do this once a week, not daily, and it will improve both your breath and gum health. How long will it take to see results? Everyone is different, but most people notice a visible difference in 7 to 10 days of consistent use, 2 to 3 weeks for deeper stains, and a full month for dramatic whitening. If you're a coffee or tea drinker, this method removes that dull yellow tint and reveals the natural white underneath. Safety reminders. Don't swallow the mixture. Don't use strong peroxide. Don't scrub too aggressively. Don't use the paste more than two to three times a week. Avoid acidic foods right after whitening. When you follow the method correctly, it's safe, gentle, and extremely effective. And thank you for watching.